was a high official in the Parisian Pol Biography Youth and Education Cauchy was the son of Louis Francois Cauchy, 1760-1848, and Marie Madeleine de Strat. Cauchy had two brothers, Alexander Laurent Cauchy, 1792-1857, who became a president of a division of the Court of Appeal in 1847, and a judge of the Court of Cassation in 1849, and Eugene Francois Cauchy, 1802-1877. A publicist who also wrote several mathematical works. Cauchy married Aloise de Beret in 1818. She was a close relative of the publisher who published most of Cauchy's works. By her he had two daughters, Marie-Francoise Alicia, 1819, and Marie Mathilde. 1823. Cauchy's father, Louis Francois Cauchy, was a high official in the Parisian police of the new regime. He lost his position because of the French Revolution, July 14, 1789, that broke out one month before. Augustin Louis was born to the Cauchy family, survived the revolution and the following reign of terror. 1794, by escaping to Arcueil, where Cauchy received his first education, from his father. After the execution of Robespierre, 1794, it was safe for the family to return to. Page 4 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash augustin hyphen lewis e ouchy three mathematical manuscripts which he submitted to the premier class first class of the institut de france three cauchy's first two manuscripts on polyhedra were accepted the third one on direct trices of conic sections was rejected in September 1812, now 23 years old, after becoming ill from overwork, Cauchy returned to Paris. Another reason for his return to the capital was that he was losing his interest in his engineering job, being more and more attracted to the abstract beauty of mathematics. In Paris, he would have a much better chance to find a mathematics-related position. Although he formally kept his engineering position, he was transferred from the payroll of the Ministry of the Marine to the Ministry of the Interior. The next three years Augustin Lewis was mainly on unpaid sick leave, and spent his time quite fruitfully, working on mathematics, on the related topics of symmetric functions, the symmetric group and the theory of higher order algebraic equations. He attempted admission to the first class of the Institut de France but failed on three different occasions between 1813 and 1815. In 1815 Napoleon was defeated at Waterloo, and the newly installed Bourbon King Louis XVIII took the restoration in hand. The Académie de Sciences was re-established in March 1816, Lazare Carnot and Gaspard Monge were removed from this academy for political reasons, and the king appointed Cauchy to take the place of one of them. The reaction by Cauchy's peers was harsh, they considered his acceptance of membership of the academy an outrage, and Cauchy thereby created many enemies in scientific circles. Professor at École Polytechnique In November 1815, Louis Poinceau, who was an associate professor at the École Polytechnique, asked to be exempted from his teaching. Page 6 of 24 HTTP colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Engineering Days After finishing school in 1810, Cauchy accepted a job as a junior engineer in Cherbourg, where Napoleon intended to build a naval base. Here Augustin Lewis stayed for three years, and although he had an extremely busy managerial job, he still found time to prepare. Page 5 of 24 In November 1815, 
Louis Poinceau, who was an associate professor at the École Polytechnique, asked to be exempted from his teaching. Page 6 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash august duties for health reasons kachi was by then a rising mathematical star who certainly merited a professorship one of his great successes at that time was the proof of fermat's polygonal number theorem however the fact that kachi was known to be very loyal to the bourbons doubtless also helped him in becoming the successor of Poinceau. He finally quit his engineering job, and received a one-year contract for teaching mathematics to second-year students of the École Polytechnique. In 1816, this Bonapartist, non-religious school was reorganized, and several liberal professors were fired, the reactionary Kochi was promoted to full professor. When Kachi was 28 years old, he was still living with his parents. His father found it high time for his son to marry, he found him a suitable bride, Aloise de Beret, five years his junior. The de Beret family were printers and booksellers, and published most of Kachi's works for. Aloise and Augustin were married on April 4, 1818, with great Roman Catholic pomp and ceremony, in the Church of St. Sulpice. In 1819 the couple's first daughter, Marie-Francoise Alicia, was born, and in 1823 the second and last daughter, Marie Mathilde. Five Cauchy had two brothers, Alexander Laurent Cauchy, who became a president of a division of the Court of Appeal in 1847, and a judge of the Court of Cassation in 1849, and Eugene Francois Cauchy, a publicist who also wrote several mathematical works. The conservative political climate that lasted until 1830 suited Cauchy perfectly. In 1824 Louis XVIII died, and was succeeded by his even more reactionary brother Charles X. During these years Cauchy was highly productive, and published one important mathematical treatise after another. He received cross appointments at the Collège de France, and the Faculté de Sciences of the University. Page 7 of 24 HTTP colon slash slash e and dot with In exile In July 1830 France underwent another revolution. Charles X fled the country, and was succeeded by the non-Bourbon King Louis Philippe. Of the House of Orleans Riots, in which uniformed students of the École Polytechnique took an active part, raged close to Cauchy's home in Paris. These events marked a turning point in Cauchy's life, and a break in his mathematical productivity. Cauchy, shaken by the fall of the government, and moved by a deep hatred of the liberals who were taking power, left Paris to go abroad, leaving his family behind. He spent a short time at Fribourg in Switzerland, where he had to decide whether he would swear a required oath of allegiance to the new regime. He refused to do this, and consequently lost all his positions in Paris, except his membership of the academy, for which an oath was not required. In 1831 Cauchy went to the Italian city of Turin, and after some time there, he accepted an offer from the king of Sardinia, who ruled Turin and the surrounding Piedmont region, for a chair of theoretical physics, which was created especially for him. He taught in Turin during 1832-1833. In 1831, he had been elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. In August 1833 Kachi left Turin for Prague, to become the science tutor of the 13-year-old Duke of Bordeaux Henri d'Artois, 1820-1883, the exiled crown prince and grandson of Charles X. As a professor of the École Polytechnique, 
Kachi had been a notoriously bad lecturer, assuming levels of understanding that only a few of his best students could reach, and cramming his allotted time with too much material. The young duke had neither taste nor talent for either mathematics or science, so student and teacher were a perfect. Page 8 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash augustin hyphen lewis e ouchie mismatch although kachi took his mission very seriously he did this with great clumsiness and with surprising lack of authority over the duke during his civil engineering days kachi once had been briefly in charge of repairing a few of the parisian sewers and he made the mistake of telling his pupil this, with great malice. The young duke went about saying that Mr. Kachi started his career in the sewers of Paris. His role as tutor lasted until the duke became 18 years old, in September 1838. Kachi did hardly any research during those five years, while the duke acquired a lifelong dislike of mathematics. The only good that came out of this episode was Kachi's promotion to Baron, a title that Kachi set great store by. In 1834, his wife and two daughters moved to Prague, and Kachi was finally reunited with his family, after four years of exile. Last Years Kachi returned to Paris and his position at the Academy of Sciences late in 1838. He could not regain his teaching positions, because he still refused to swear an oath of allegiance. However, he desperately wanted to regain a formal position in Parisian science. In August 1839 a vacancy appeared in the Bureau de Longitudes. This bureau had some resemblance to the Academy, for instance, it had the right to co-opt its members. Further, it was believed that members of the Bureau could forget about the Oath of Allegiance, although formally, unlike the academicians, they were obliged to take it. The Bureau de Longitudes was. Page 9 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash augustin hyphen lewis e ouchie. Kachi prior to 1857. An organization founded in 1795 to solve the problem of determining position on C. Mainly the longitudinal coordinate, since latitude is easily determined from the position of the sun. Since it was thought that position on C was best determined by astronomical observations, the Bureau had developed into an organization resembling an academy of astronomical sciences. In November 1839 Kachi was elected to the Bureau, and discovered immediately that the matter of the oath was not so easily dispensed with. Without his oath, the king refused to approve his election. For four years Kachi was in the absurd position of being elected, but not being approved, hence, he was not a formal member of the Bureau, did not receive payment, could not participate in meetings, and could not submit papers. Still Kachi refused to take any oaths, however, he did feel loyal enough to direct his research to celestial mechanics. In 1840, he presented a dozen papers on this topic to the Academy. He also described and illustrated the sign digit representation of numbers, an innovation presented in England in 1727 by John Colson. The confounded membership of the Bureau lasted until the end of 1843, when Kachi was finally replaced by Poinceau. All through the 19th century the French educational system struggled with the question of separation of church and state. The Catholic Church sought freedom of education, the Church found in Kachi a staunch and illustrious ally in this struggle. He lent his prestige and knowledge to the École Normale Ecclesiastique, a school in Paris run by Jesuits, for training teachers for their colleges. He also. Page 10 of 24. 
http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash augustin hyphen lewis c ouchie took part in the founding of the institute catholique the purpose of this institute was to counter the effects of the absence of catholic university education in france these activities did not make kachi popular with his colleagues who on the whole supported the Enlightenment ideals of the French Revolution. When a chair of mathematics became vacant at the Collège de France in 1843, Cauchy applied for it, but got just three out of 45 votes. The year 1848 was the year of revolution all over Europe, revolutions broke out in numerous countries, beginning in France. King Louis Philippe, fearful of sharing the fate of Louis XVI, fled to England. The oath of allegiance was abolished, and the road to an academic appointment was finally clear for Cauchy. On March 1, 1849, he was reinstated at the Faculte de Sciences, as a professor of mathematical astronomy. After political turmoil all through 1848, France chose to become a republic, under the presidency of Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte, and son of Napoleon's brother, who had been installed as the first king of Holland. Soon, early 1852, the president became the emperor of France, and took the name Napoleon III. Not unexpectedly, the idea came up in bureaucratic circles that it would be useful to require a loyalty oath from all state functionaries, including university professors. Not always does history repeat itself, however, because this time a cabinet minister was able to convince the emperor to exempt Kachi from the oath. Kachi remained a professor at the university until his death at the age of 67. He received the last rites and died at 4 a.m. on May 23, 1857. His name is one of the 72 names inscribed on the Eiffel Tower. Page 11 of 24 Early Work The genius of Kachi was illustrated in his simple solution of the problem of Apollonius describing a circle touching three given circles which he discovered in 1805, his generalization of Euler's formula on polyhedra in 1811, and in several other elegant problems. More important is his memoir on wave propagation, which obtained the Grand Prix of the French Academy of Sciences in 1816. Cauchy's writings covered notable topics including, the theory of series, where he developed the notion of convergence and discovered many of the basic formulas for Q-series. In the theory of numbers and complex quantities, he was the first to define complex numbers as pairs of real numbers. He also wrote on the theory of groups and substitutions, the theory of functions, differential equations, and determinants. Wave theory, mechanics, elasticity. In the theory of light he worked on Fresnel's wave theory and on the dispersion and polarization of light. He also contributed significant research in mechanics, substituting the notion of the continuity of geometrical displacements for the principle of the continuity of matter. He wrote on the equilibrium of rods and elastic membranes and on waves in elastic media. He introduced six a three times three symmetric matrix of numbers that is now known as the Cauchy stress tensor. In elasticity, he originated the theory of stress, and his results are nearly as valuable as those of Simeon Poisson. Number theory. Page 12 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash other significant contributions include being the first to prove the Fermat polygonal number theorem. Complex functions Cauchy is most famous for his single-handed development of complex function theory. The first pivotal theorem proved by Cauchy, now known as Cauchy's integral theorem, was the following. 
where f z is a complex valued function holomorphic on and within the non self intersecting closed curve c contour lying in the complex plane the contour integral is taken along the contour c the rudiments of this theorem can already be found in a paper that the 24 year old kachi presented to the academy de sciences then still called first class of the institute on august 11 1814 in full form 7 the theorem was given in 1825 the 1825 paper is seen by many as Cauchy's most important contribution to mathematics. In 1826-8 Cauchy gave a formal definition of a residue of a function. This concept regards functions that have poles isolated singularities, i.e., points where a function goes to positive or negative infinity. If the complex-valued function f, z, can be expanded in the neighborhood of a singularity as where f z is analytic i.e. well behaved without singularities then f is said to have a pole of order n in the point a if n equals 1 the pole is page 13 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash augustin hyphen lewis c ouchy called simple the coefficient b1 is called by kachi the residue of function f at a if f is non-singular at a then the residue of f is zero at a clearly the residue is in the case of a simple pole equal to where we replaced B1 by the modern notation of the residue. In 1831, while in Turin, Cauchy submitted two papers to the Academy of Sciences of Turin. In the first nine he proposed the formula now known as Cauchy's integral formula, where f, z, is analytic on C and within the region bounded by the contour C and the complex number A is somewhere in this region. The contour integral is taken counterclockwise. Clearly, the INTE grant has a simple pole at Z equals A. In the second paper 10 he presented the residue theorem, where the sum is over all the N poles of F, Z, on and within the contour C. These results of Cauchy still form the core of complex function theory as it is taught today to physicists and electrical engineers. For quite some time, contemporaries of Cauchy ignored his theory, believing it to be too complicated. Only in the 1840s the theory started to get response, with Pierre Alphonse Laurent being the first mathematician, besides Cauchy, making a substantial contribution, his Laurent series published in 1843. Page 14 of 24. HTTP colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Augustin hyphen Lewis C. Ouchy. The title page of a textbook by Cauchy. Cores D. Analyze. In addition to his work on complex functions, Cauchy was the first to stress the importance of rigor in analysis. Verani 14 recently argued that Cauchy possessed a kinetic notion of limit similar to Newton's. Regardless of how Cauchy viewed the rigor of using infinitesimal methods, these methods continued in practice long after cores de-analyze both by Cauchy and other mathematicians and can be justified by modern techniques. Taylor's Theorem he was the first to prove Taylor's theorem rigorously, establishing his well-known form of the remainder. He wrote a textbook 15, see the illustration, for his students at the Akal Polytechnique in which he developed the basic theorems of mathematical analysis as rigorously as possible. In this book he gave the necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of a limit in the form that is still taught. Also Cauchy's well-known test for absolute convergence stems from this book, Cauchy Condensation Test. In 1829 he defined for the first time a 
Complex function of a complex variable in another textbook 16 In spite of these, Kochi's own research papers often used intuitive, not rigorous, method 17 Thus one of his theorems was exposed to a counterexample by Abel, later fixed by the introduction of the notion of uniform continuity. Argument principle, stability. In a paper published in 1855, two years before Cauchy's death, he discussed some theorems, one of which is similar to the argument principle in many modern textbooks on complex analysis. In modern control theory textbooks, the Cauchy argument principle is quite frequently used to derive the Nyquist stability criterion, which can be used to predict the stability of negative feedback amplifier and negative feedback control systems. Thus Kochi's work has a strong page 16 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash augustin hyphen lewis e ouchie impact on both pure mathematics and practical engineering output Kochi was very productive, in number of papers second only to Leonard Euler. It took almost a century to collect all his writings into 27 large volumes. Overs completes D. Augustin Kochi publi su la direction scientifique de l'Académie de Sciences et su les auspices de mle ministre de l'instruction public, 27 volumes http colon slash slash porta il dot math doc dot fr slash cgi hyphen bin slash oetoc question mark id equal sign oeco chi 18 paris gautier villers et fills 1008 his greatest contributions to mathematical science are enveloped in the rigorous methods which he introduced these are mainly embodied in his three great treatises Cours d'analyse de l'école royale polytechnique. HTTP colon slash slash le calcul infinitesimal, 1800. Le con sur les applications de calcul infinitesimal, la geometry. 1820. His other works include Exercices d'analyse et de physique mathématique. 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 Vol. Politics and religious beliefs. Augustin Louis Cauchy grew up in the house of a staunch royalist. This made his father flee with the family to Arcueil during the French Revolution. Their life there was apparently hard, Augustin Louis's father, Louis Francois, spoke of living on rice, bread, and crackers during the period. A paragraph from an undated letter from Louis. Francois to his mother in Rouen says 18. We never had more than a half pound of bread and sometimes not even that. This we supplement with little supply of hard crackers and rice that we are allotted. Otherwise, we are getting along quite well, which is the important thing and goes to show that human beings can get by with little. I should tell you that for my children's pap I still have a bit of fine flour. Page 18 of 24 http colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash augustin hyphen lewis e ouchie Made from wheat that I grew on my own land. I had three bushels made from wheat that I grew on my own land. I had three bushels, and I also have a few pounds of potato starch. It is as white as snow and very good, too, especially for very young children. It, too, was grown on my own land 19. In any event, he inherited his father's staunch royalism and hence refused to take oaths to any government after the overthrow of Charles X. He was an equally staunch Catholic and a member of the Society of 
Saint Vincent de Paul 20 he also had links to the Society of Jesus and defended them at the academy when it was politically unwise to do so. His zeal for his faith may have led to his caring for Charles Hermite during his illness and leading Hermite to become a faithful Catholic. It also inspired Kochi to plead on behalf of the Irish during the potato famine. His royalism and religious zeal also made him contentious, which caused difficulties with his colleagues. He felt that he was mistreated for his beliefs, but his opponents felt he intentionally provoked people by berating them over religious matters or by defending the Jesuits after they had been suppressed. Niels Henrik Abel called him a bigoted Catholic 21 and added he was mad and there is nothing that can be done about him, but at the same time praised him as a mathematician. Kochi's views were widely unpopular among mathematicians and when Guglielmo Libri Carucci Dalla Samaja was made chair in mathematics before him he, and many others, felt his views were the cause. When Libri was accused of stealing books he was replaced by Joseph Lyuville which caused a rift between him and Kochi. Another dispute concerned Jean-Marie Constant Duhamel and a claim on inelastic shocks. Kochi was later shown, by Jean. Page 19 of 24. HTTP colon slash slash e and dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Augustin hyphen Louis C. Ouchie. Victor Ponslet, to be wrong. See also. List of topics named after Augustin Louis Kochi Kochi Binet Formula Kochi Boundary Condition Kochi's Convergence Test Kochi, Crater. Kochi determinant Kochi distribution Kochi's equation Kochi Euler equation Kochi functional equation Kochi horizon Kochi formula for repeated integration Kochi Frobenius lemma Kochi Hadamard theorem Kochi Kovalovsky theorem Kochi momentum Equation Kochi Piano Theorem Kochi Principal Value Kochi Problem Kochi Product Kochi's Radical Test Kochi Rashes Stability Kochi Riemann Equations Kochi Swartz Inequality Kochi Sequence Kochi Surface Kochi's Theorem, Geometry Kochi's Theorem, Group Theory Page 20 of 24 HTTP colon slash slash Maclaurin Kochi Test Notes 1 carat Freudenthal 2008 2 carat his father's decision